So it's back in February of this year, and uh, I received an email from the organizers of this fantastic event, the TEDx team. And this email was forwarded from JR Studio in New York, and they were looking for someone to lead the first ever Inside Out installation here in Malawi. I think I possibly read about half of the first line before I replied, yes, definitely count me in. <laughs> and this is where I was at the time. As this place is uh, called The Fisheries up in Cape McClear, where I stay. This has been my home off and on for the last six months now. So as I started reading more about JR and the Inside Out projects that were happening all over the world, I started to think, this is something truly incredible. This is an amazing, amazing opportunity. So, Ted, so Joe's TED wish was for you to stand up for what you believe in and what you care about by participating in a global art project. And together, we turn the world inside out. So at this point, my mind's blown. I'm all over the place. I haven't slept for about three days now. I've got ideas going all through my mind. And what can I do? I mean, first problem, this isn't actually my community. As much as I love Kate McClear, as much as it's been a wonderful, wonderful home to me, could I call myself part of this community? I've got a bigger question as well. I mean, what is a community? So I do what I do when I can't sleep, and when I have all these huge ideas through my head, which is to go and sit on the beach and look at the stars, and look at this night, particularly with this beautiful moon set into the lake. And as I was sitting there, I started looking out at all these stars gathering, all the little fishing boats going out and the lights going onto the lake. And I started thinking about the people behind those stars. I started thinking about this phrase itself, the lake of stars. This is what Lake Malawi is known as. And I started thinking, I don't, I don't know anything about these people. I don't know how they do what they do. I know they go out late at night, they come in in the morning. I've seen a few of them asleep on the beach, but I don't know these guys. But I, do, I know people in the community. I know this is a very good friend of mine's mother. And she's heavily involved in fishing. Their whole family is. So I thought, it's about time I start learning. And it's about time I go and I start actually seeing what happens in this fishing community. Before I did that, before I just took to the beach with my camera and started trying to grab fishermen to join me on this crazy adventure, I thought I'd better do a test shoot. And luckily for me, I had some very willing models to come <laughs> along. These are some of the guys who work at the fisheries, and we, we spent an afternoon basically playing with fish, which is rather smelly, but it was a very enjoyable experience. <laughs> old and young, everybody can get involved with this project. So that was in February. I went home for a few months. I came back earlier uh, in May. I got a little team together, two fantastic filmmakers called Cheapy and Barnsley, a great assistant called Victoria, and we set out to make a film. We're going to use, for the first time ever, Lake Malawi as a canvas for an installation for an art project. And this is what happened. came from uh, living on the lake and um, mainly wanting to learn more about the fishing community uh, that, that survives on the lake. I mean, it, you don't have to be here long to realize that fish is the, the lifeblood of this village and it's, it's so rarely kind of seen as if from a visitor or a tourist point of view. So for me, sitting out at night time and watching all the stars going out and realizing that I don't know anything about the people behind that. Uh, so I want to let you know I'm down for you if you said so. Any little thing you do, I 
affects me. Uh, three days ago, the fishing was good. So that everybody here was very happy for fishing. Even I remember those times people that were failing to go to school because they're having good fish, the fishing and they're having money. People used to have uh, fish in granules. Nobody will afford it to buy them all. But now as you can see this bench they're empty. Ushozi to send it to where it is and the Bagalibano for your entertainment or your Usho, the Sombers, the Maforam Billy for your Mabodi, Adelu Ojeba. Then you for your Jidanga, you ran out one to fit, the women Ali S. Mana, our group of work. We installed 14 posters on cardboard, so we pasted them on cardboard and then we floated them from uh, the bottom of the Cape, about two kilometres up to up to a place called the fisheries and then we kind of installed them on the beach up here so it was not it was nice to show show the kind of tourist areas the the faces of the guys who were going out every night and fishing <laughs> Floating the installation along the lake shore, um, which is kind of the, my final vision for what I wanted to do with this. So, so I stay away. biggest fear before I started this project was that I had no idea whether the fishermen were even going to want to participate. I had no idea if they were going to just totally not like the idea and I would, I would be stuck standing here talking to you about nothing today. But as soon as we started unrolling posters and as soon as we started pasting them onto the cardboard, the project left my hands completely and it became theirs. I was so interested also to see the effect it was going to have on the community. You know, nothing like this has been done in Cape Clear before. I don't even know if it's ever been done in Malawi, something on this scale. So I think you can see we, we made quite an impact from these pictures. And of course, we got a response from the tourists as well. <laughs> but the most important thing was how the fishermen felt about it. And I'm so, so delighted to report that they were all absolutely delighted and all of those posters have now gone home with them. So I think there's a lot of very large portraits in a lot of living rooms <laughs> in Cape McLean. So, I may not have won the TED Prize myself, not just yet anyway, but I have granted myself a TED the long way wish. And that is this, that it's time for you to use your creativity for community awareness. Show the world on the outside what the inside really looks like, and together we can turn Malawi inside out. <laughs>